Hi everybody, it's Amy from Loop Bear. Uh, got a couple updates on the 2020 Alaska Airmen's Association raffle plane for you. Uh, first of all, really excited about the Airmen's raffle aircraft this year. Uh, it's been great working with Above Alaska. The reason that we're here right now is to talk about the fact that Loop Bear is donating a set of Loop Line 3000 straight floats for the airplane. Uh, really excited about that. Uh, so, I don't have the exact set of floats here, but we do have our demo box 182, which is on a set of 3000 amp bibs. It's the same hull, with the exception of the part where, you know, the gear goes up and down and all that, you know, finer details. So we're going to take a peek and learn a little bit more about the float itself. If we come on up here, uh, Whip Air has been building floats continuously since 1960. So we build more floats for more airplanes than anybody else in the business, which is pretty cool. Um, the 3000 is one of our more popular floats. It fits on the 180, the 182, and the 185. Um, if we take a look at it, it's all aluminum construction. It's a very field proven material, uh, easy to repair in the field if needed. Um, so we've been a big fan of it. Uh, one of the nice things about the 3000, whether it be the Amphib or the straight float version, is that it does have this replaceable keel wear strip. On Amphibs, and you can see where it's screwed in here. So on an Amphib airplane, this is typically going to be replaced if somebody has an oopsie and they maybe forget to extend their landing gear when they're landing on, on the runway. Uh, on a straight float airplane, it can still be valuable and useful just because uh, if you're beaching and whatnot on rough areas or perhaps even if during your float changeover, you're maybe landing on something other than water, this takes about an hour or two to replace. So it's a nice feature to have. While we're down here, we'll take a look at the rest of the hull shape as well. We've got these guys right here. Uh, these are sometimes called boosters or sister keels. And what they do is to borrow some of the engineering parlance as they decrease the wetted area of the float. That means that it's going to improve your takeoff and landing performance, get you up and on the step and out of the water faster. Overall, the shape of the, of the 3000 float is optimized to get you in and out of the water quickly, as well as to track straight and true to the dock. So there are a couple of things that you're balancing there, as well as, uh, you know, floats. Hopefully we're going to minimize the impact on the airplane as well by giving it a shape that's going to balance cutting through the water as well as very docile and natural flying characteristics. Uh, one thing that we should talk about while we're down here is you see this lovely sticker here, it's a whip line 3000 float. Common question we get asked is, is that the flotation of the float or the buoyancy uh, or is it just a model number? And the answer can vary depending upon the manufacturer, but what I can tell you is that as pertains to whip line floats by whip air, this is just a model number. It is loosely related to the maximum flotation or buoyancy and the max gross weight of the aircraft that can fit on it, but it's not quite the same thing. In fact, the 3,000 straight floats that are going to go on the 2020 Alaska Airmen's Association raffle plane have a max flotation of 3,668 pounds. Keep in mind, that's not a gross weight increase on the airplane, uh, so you're still going to be tied to whatever the aircraft gross weight is. Point is, is that it's a really nice size float for a 180. It's got plenty of reserve buoyancy to get you in and out of the places that you want to go while hauling what you need to. And whether it be the Amphib or the straight float version of the Whipline 3000, another fun fact is that they are compatible with the Kenmore gross weight increase. So if by chance you don't win this 180, but you find another 180 and you need a set of Whipline floats, keep in mind that they are compatible with that. If we move to the top of the float, we're going to take a look at this nice, wide, flat top deck. This has been a hallmark of whipline floats and since we started building them in 1960. Uh, some other floats uh, were manufactured with round top decks, which was an interesting way to build them, but turns out that water and round tip, round, uh, round tops are maybe not the greatest. Uh, either that or people are way less klutzy than I am. So this entire thing is flat, it's sprayed with a non-skid coating, so for passenger and pilot safety. Another thing to note on the topic of passenger and pilot safety is there are no water runner cables along the top deck of the float. So this entire thing is going to be clear. This one has a little gear indicator, and you won't have that. But all the cables are free of the top deck of the float. If we come back, so you're up flying, catching fish, finding moose, not quite sure, you need to bring it back home. We've got the largest baggage compartments in this category and class of float. 
This one has a 50 pound capacity. There is one on each side, so we'll take a peek in here. There is plenty of good stuff that can be packed in there. And again, it's all, all non-skid. Um, now the floats for the raffle airplane will be painted to match that aircraft, just like these ones are painted to match our 182 here. Uh, they're gonna look super cool, we're excited about it. Um, but other things you might be wondering is, hey, what happens if I win this airplane and I don't have a seaplane rating? Well, it's a pretty easy rating to get. You can go to whipair.com and click on find a flight school. That'll take you to a list of seaplane training providers and you pick one and off you go. It typically takes about a weekend to get the rating. All that said, like everything else in aviation, a seaplane rating is a license to learn. So as you choose your destinations, uh, whether they be in Alaska or beyond, uh, certain backcountry lakes, rivers, you may find that there's specialized operating procedures. So be safe, be smart, get training, have a bunch of fun. We're really excited about it. Um, we are bummed that we won't be in Anchorage this year when the aircraft is awarded, but someone's gonna have a great, great prize in front of them. Uh, so all that said, if you have other questions about the actual raffle airplane, be sure to visit uh, alaskanearman.org or abovealaska.com. Check them out on Facebook. And of course, if you have any questions about Whipline floats or any Whip Air products, be sure to visit us at www.whipair.com.